Hi, my name is Miko and in this video, I will explain what you need to know about the recent Facebook leak. I will show you how to check if your Facebook account is included in this leak and if so, what you should do to prevent this information from being used against you. Let's just have a brief background of what happened. Just a few days ago, news reports were published announcing that 533 million Facebook user details were compromised and leaked to the public. That's around 20% of all the Facebook accounts worldwide. The data leak contains the Facebook user's full name, phone number, Facebook ID, location, gender, employer, relationship status, and in some cases, even email addresses. It was reported that even Mark Zuckerberg's phone number was leaked in these files. Despite all this, Facebook's Director of Strategic Response Communications tweeted that this is actually not something new, that this was in fact old data resurfacing. The leak was supposedly caused by a Facebook vulnerability two years ago allowing someone to scrape data from Facebook servers. I think this is also the time where I can actually search and type for a phone number in the search bar of Facebook and then the person who owns that number will show up even if that person is not my friend. But after the 2018 Cambridge Analytica scandal, Facebook Tighten its privacy rules, made some adjustments, and today it's no longer possible. So the data was already two years old, and the security issue that allowed this to happen has already been fixed. But I still think that this is something, this is a topic that is very relevant and something that is worth exploring. The curious person that I am, I scoured the internet for the leaked files and when I found it, I searched for my name and then there it was, my name and my phone number and that's still the phone number that I'm currently using. So even though the data is, the data was already two years old, it's still very useful for potential malicious individuals. And take note, I have never been informed by Facebook. I never knew that all this time, the past two years, my contact information has been exposed to the public. Our own National Privacy Commission has also recently released a statement saying that they will investigate this issue. Out of the 533 million Facebook users' data that was leaked, almost 900,000 was from the Philippines. That's 900,000 out of the 70 million plus Facebook users in this country. Facebook might say that that's just a little over 1%, but hear me out. When I looked for the names of my friends in the list, around half of them were there. Even phone numbers of famous and well-known Filipino celebrities were not spared. But you may ask, how was I sure that those were the actual persons and not fake accounts with the same name. Remember, the Facebook user ID was also included in the leak, so it can be counter-checked and verify that it was indeed associated with the actual Facebook account. So what's my purpose for looking up for the names of my friends and those famous celebrities in the leaked files? Well, it's the same purpose of this video. I want to let them and everyone watching this video know that your data might have been compromised and it can be used by anyone with malicious intentions and I want to tell you what you should do to prevent that from happening. Again, what does this data leak mean for you and me? It means that every single person on that list is a vulnerable target for social engineering attacks. In information security, social engineering is a kind of psychological manipulation to make you divulge personal and confidential information. 
I have provided numerous examples of this in my previous video. If you haven't watched that yet, please do by clicking the link in the description below. In the context of the current Facebook leak, imagine if someone with bad intentions or say a criminal organization have managed to gain access to your contact information through that data leak. Imagine what they could do with that information. So the scammer can then call or text you and use the leaked information to make you believe that he is a bank employee or any other person of authority with the primary goal of making you reveal more information and details about yourself and then eventually to make you tell them your password, PIN, OTP, secret question, secret answer, card number, account number, mother's maiden name, or other sensitive information that you wouldn't normally disclose to anyone. The scammers can do this by slowly gaining your trust, by sounding convincingly professional, by passing you around to different departments, and convince you using different psychological tricks armed with all the personal information that they have about you. Another potential attack is if they try to hack your Facebook account by using your leaked phone number to try and reset your password. But in this attack, they will still need a social engineering component. For example, by spoofing and sending you a seemingly official text message. I also explained this in detail in my previous video, so I will not delve into that here. And if you use your phone number to log into different websites or apps, then they can use a similar trick to gain access to those services too. That's what a social engineering attack is. And it's more prevalent and more dangerous to all the other hacks out there. If you want to avoid falling into these kind of scams, I have enumerated top 10 online security tips in my previous videos. Go ahead and watch that one. Again, link in the description below. I think this is the part that you have been waiting for. How can you know if your Facebook account is included in the data leak? Well, just go to the website www.haveibeenpwned.com. Type your phone number with the country code and the website will tell you if it was included in the breach. In addition, this website will also tell you if your email or password was included in all of the other known data breaches and hacking incidents in the past years. So let's say that you have confirmed that your Facebook account was included in the data leak and your contact number has been compromised. What should you do now? Well, if possible, the outright safest choice is to just change your phone number. Replace it with a new one. But of course, this may not be an option for everyone. What you can do is make sure to enable two-factor authentication in all your accounts and also just change your password for safety's sake. And it's actually healthy to regularly change your passwords every now and then. But my general tip is to always be wary of social engineering attacks, knowing that anyone can use those information that was leaked to pretend to be someone else. Let's also sharpen our critical thinking skills and bullshit detecting ability. That should be helpful not just in avoiding this kind of scams, but in our daily life in general. If you want to watch more of these kinds of videos, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like and share this video to spread the word. Thank you!